What's going on, y'all? This is Big C. Good morning, y'all. I just getting up, running some errands, and uh, just came to mind. You know, if you want to die quick as shit, become a rapper. If you want to lose your life and have your mama crying and your family crying, become a rapper. And I'm going to tell you why I say that. This is what I realized recently, right? And I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. Every time you turn on a news channel, there's a rapper getting killed. You know, I want to say rest in peace to Jay uh, the Youngin. Um, we recently seen little TJ got shot. Uh, we won't forget about XXX Extension. Uh, Nipsey is almost a memory. You know, if it wasn't for the fact of, you know, the amount of publicity that he got, most people would have forgot about Nipsey. But what I realized is this. You telling me that you work hard and, and do all this work and all that studio time and you tour and you do promotional shit just to turn around and, and, and die? Just to turn around and have beef and have ops? See, these young boys, right? Back in the day, we used to say that rap was a... It, it was a, a, a... Not a presentation. The music was about what was going on in society. Now, what's going on in society is based on music. You know what I'm saying? It's a direct correlation between rap and society. And if you see what's going on in society right now, there's always killings, people always getting shot, shit always going on. But what we have here now, we got rappers dying at a rate where I believe, listen, if I have a son or a young man come up to me and say, hey, listen, I got dreams of being an aspiring rapper. The first thing I would tell him is this. Do me a favor. Take the J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, Lupe Fiasco route. I don't need to see you in no jewelry. Don't claim no, no affiliation, no neighborhood. Uh, the, the dudes, you know what I'm saying, you grew up with, screw them. You can't, they might be with you, but they can't be with you. You, you want to give people jobs. You want to bring people on tour. You want to, the entourage gets you killed quicker than anybody. But what I'm seeing more than, important than anything is this. I'm seeing that the black man who is pretty much the most endangered species on the planet Earth has now found a way to multiply and speed up that process even faster. See, here's the thing. Your old head, your OGs and all that shit. Ain't no young boy listening to none of that shit. No old head saying. They don't give a damn with no old niggas saying. And the, and the point of the fact is this. You got old niggas that have a lot of you know, some affiliation and have a lot of uh, juice with some of these young boys and they're not using it for good. They're not telling you what's wrong, what's right, how to move. You know what I'm saying? What they're telling you, you know what I'm saying, is how to move wrong. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to glorify they, they neighborhood. They want to glorify what they did to the ops. Drill music is fucking about to be dead. Because right now, it seems like more people are being indicted or going to jail than anything. You know what I'm saying? So you got people getting locked up for their, um, you know, their, their affiliation. See, because here's the thing. If you're a young boy, you come from a certain hood, right? And you get a little bit of money. First thing you will do is take care of the niggas that came with you. And that means you're you going to help them get more guns. You know what I'm saying? Buy more drugs. Do more dumb shit. And the reason is, it's real simple. Because once you put the money in the hands of people that never had that type of money or knew what to do about it, you know what I'm saying, to do with it, they're going to take out their they problems on the people who they think is their enemy. The first thing these rappers got to realize is ain't nobody your enemy. You're all in it to try to do the same thing, to win. But the truth of the matter is when you take street shit and street beef into rap, you're fucked. Right now... I think rap is 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 a fucked up genre to be in. You might as well go R and B, disco, EMI, something. Cause motherfuckers die. Ain't nobody gonna survive this run. This is like a this is like a, a, a drug run. 18 month drug run. And then you gone. You either indicted or you're dead. The truth of the matter is, you can't save nobody unless you save yourself. And if you really want to be a rapper and you love what you do. And I think you got to do a lot fucking better than what the fuck the other guy's doing. You got to, you know what I'm saying? Fuck all that, the Addy and pull up and all that bullshit and, 
You know what I'm saying? And I got ops and, you know what I'm saying? First of all, stop, stop showing guns. Stop showing jewelry. Stop showing shit that entice somebody else to be envious and jealous of you. Because you know how niggas is. You know what I'm saying? Listen, they say if you know better, you do better. You know better. They just don't want to do better. Rap is dead. They going to kill all them niggas. You know what I'm saying? They going to kill themselves. And at the end of the day, the only person that really, you know what I'm saying, profits from this situation is the motherfuckers that own the record label. You know what I'm saying? The motherfuckers that own the record label, they're making hella money. That's why they're paying these kids so much money. Because at the end of the day, they know that when they die, they worth more. The fuck? Listen, be good to each other. And most importantly, be good to yourselves. I'm out.